you mentioned Bass. Did you guys notice that he said Bass Reeves was focused? Yeah. Yes. And, and it was rumored that if you were on his list, if he had a subpoena or a warrant for you, and it says it here in Black Gun, Silver Star, if he had a warrant for you, he was after you. He was on your trail, and he was going to get you. Bass didn't have many people that were successful at assassinating him. Unfortunately, other U.S. Deputy Marshals did get assassinated. And in the Indian Territory, it was stated that Indian Territory was the most dangerous place to be a U.S. Deputy Marshal. Yet, Bass Reeves was successful at his job the entire time in his career because he was F-O-C-U-S-E-D, focused, because he was focused. In the Toastmasters environment, we have to be focused. We have to be focused because this is a self-paced environment. Would you say that with Bass and his career, would you also say that values played a part? And if so, what do you think his primary values were? Yeah, I think uh, he had great values uh, coming out of slavery like he, he did. Um, from what I understand, his, his, his mother taught him the Bible back and forwards, and he, he memorized many of the verses in the Bible. And uh, I think he made the decision that he wanted to be a good person and try to live up to being a good person. And uh, he wanted to, you know, rest the bad folks. And so I think that he had very good values in, in that regards, in terms of his spirituality and, and in terms of his value system that he personally had. I mean, he arrested his own son for murder. And so he arrested his own minister for committing a crime. So his values were very, very strong. Uh, not many people were arrested on son for murder. You know, that's right. Uh, yeah, you know, it, also too, uh, I went to high school in Oklahoma my last two years. And when I started doing this research, I didn't know that the Native Americans had Africans in bondage in, in the Indian Territory. Andrew Jackson moved the Indians out of the southeast in 1830, 18, it's 1840. And the five civilized tribes, which were the main tribes in the Indian Territory, Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Creek, and Seminoles all had African slaves. And that kind of blew me away when I got into that research, because I didn't know that. And then after the Civil War, these blacks became known as Indian freedmen, and they were bi-dialectical and bicultural. Now Bass was not a Indian freedman, but since he was a runaway slave who had lived in the Indian Territory, he did learn to speak the Muscogee Indian language, and that helped him to a great extent in terms of what he was doing.